Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Robin Elliott, better known as Cayman Spider. I got a new product for you today. This is the uh, updated version of the ACAR Dash uh, nine inch screen for the Maserati Gran Turismo. This is the new Gen 5. So basically what has happened is they have refreshed it. This is run, now running a Snapdragon processor. Um, it has a new UI and everything on it. Um, if you look on the back here, uh, you're going to see that it still has the same optical output. They've redesigned this. Um, these are all your inputs, your main input right there. Um, you have your 4G, your Bluetooth antenna, everything separate now. And also, now you have an HDMI out. So if you ever want to add any uh, monitors or anything, you have an HDMI out. And that's what the, the power uh, of a Snapdragon processor does. It adds, it it's, uh, allows you to have more options and stuff. So they did refresh fresh the uh, UI on it, the look and everything, the interface. So I'm going to go over that real quick and we'll take a look at it and kind of go through some of the changes. Okay, before we go over the uh, functions and everything, I'm going to go over the wiring real quick on this unit. It's pretty much the same for the most part. So uh, you're going to see you have the optical out here and the HDMI out. So the optical out is for an, an amp and the HDMI um, obviously for other monitors and everything. So what you're going to get, you're going to get um, the AM FM adapter. Uh, you're going to see this black round. You're going to find the white one and it's going to plug into there. Uh, the, the white one that you unplug from your factory head unit. That's the antenna. Um, let's see. Okay, this is going to be for your reverse cam. And each one of these are going to have its own specific place. So this particular one is going to go down here on the bottom. So you can't screw these up. They'll only go in one place. And you're going to see you have a 12 volt right here. Um, and that, you could use this one if you want to use, uh, if you want to do a front cam. Um, or um, you could do... Uh, the SPCONT, uh, this is a constant power also. So we'll go over this harness here real quick. Uh, this is going to be your 4G SIM card, which this now supports. Um, you're going to have um, a front set of amps, a rear set of amp connectors, a subwoofer. Um, and then you're going to have a auxiliary in. So this one right here, this auxiliary in. Uh, it's going to say aux CVBSN. This is going to be for a front cam if you ever want to attach one of those. And you could use this to power it. And then you have your, if you want to add an external microphone. Um, I don't believe these kits have them, but if you do, you, it's just a three millimeter. So any external mic will hook up to this. Um, and then this is going to plug in right there. Uh, I'm not clamp. I'm not clipping these in, so they're just kind of sitting there. I guess we'll go ahead and put the antenna. The antenna is going to go right there. So just so you know, that's where the that's where the antenna is going to go. Uh, and then you're going to see you're going to get uh, two USB cords. Okay, uh, one is a is going to have four wire or see it's going to have yes four wires and the other one's going to have four also uh, but this one it it's a um looks like it's a uh, six pin so either of these they're they're going to work the exact same there's no difference in them uh everything everything's the same on on both of them uh they're going to plug in right here on the edge here. And now what I usually do, I usually run these to my, um, to my glove box. Uh, you could run them anywhere. Let's see if I can get this in without having to undo it all. Okay, there's that one there. And then the other one's gonna go right here, right next to it, okay. So those are your two USB connectors. 
And by the way, these are all, all these connections are the exact same on all my units. They, they all have these same exact same connections. So I'm just kind of going over it. Now, um, one thing you'll see, you're going to get this adapter right here with a male USB. So what you could do, you could plug this into one of these two USBs, and then this is going to plug into your factory um, connector that goes to your glove box. So if you want to retain your factory uh, USB in your glove box, you use this adapter here. Otherwise, you won't need to use that. Um, the most important, now you're going to see that there are uh, there's two openings left here. So what we're going to do um, is we're, we got the main harness right here. So that's the main harness that powers it, the unit. It's going to plug in right there. And then you're going to see another two wires with a white connector. And it's going to plug in next to the USB ones here. It's going to plug in right here. So that's everything that's plugged in as far as this goes. There's one open. And what that is, is for a 360 cam. So this does support a 360 cam. So that's where the 360 cam was. Otherwise, you could just use uh, the supplied reverse cam. So all my units come with a reverse cam. And you could put add an additional front cam. That's on my website. So... Um, we'll kind of go over that here in just a second. So that's all the main connections. Now the next thing is, is the GPS antenna. Now you could run this GPS antenna to your glove box, somewhere in your inside your um, dash, or, and it's gonna and it's gonna just screw in right here where it's marked GPS. This one right here. Okay. Or you could buy my optional adapter right here, and this is gonna retain the factory uh, GPS. So I, I like I like this because it's just one less, All you just eliminate this, and this uses the factory one. So you're going to find the blue round one that's going to match this and plug it in, and that's, that's your GPS. So, and then um, you're going to have this little antenna right here. Um, this is a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so it's going to go right here. And then you're going to have a stick one right here. And it's, this is your 4G antenna. So there's one that's marked 4G minus and 4G plus. Um, more than likely, it's going to go in the 4G plus. If there's any difference, I will, I will let you know in the, uh, when I, when I, in the instructions when I uh, sell this to you. Um, I'll clarify, but right now we're going with the 4G plus. Okay, and you can mount this anywhere inside the dash or inside your glove compartment. Um, the next thing is you're going to have a brown box like this. It's going to plug in right here into the main harness. So it's going to plug right there like that. And that's and then that's all completely connected. So what, else, what do you have? Now you're going to have this big one right here. That's going to go to your main harness on your uh, on your fact on your car, and then it has the it goes in, and then it has the clip that clamps down onto here. So this is your main one to that. Now uh, you won't be using these aux in. Uh, no reason to use those um, for your reverse cam. There's a brown wire that's marked reverse, and this is what's going to connect to the red wire on the reverse. And then your um, other end, your yellow RCA here, is going to connect to this single RCA. And it's marked a uh, camera. So very simple. Very, very simple. Um, if you have any questions, you just, just reach out to me and uh, let, uh, ask me. I'll, I'll let you know where I'm hanging. Now, you're going to see, you're going to see key one and key two. These are not used on the Maserati. These are used on other vehicles uh, for steering wheel controls, but these are not used. Everything's in the CAN bus, so these are not used on this. So just completely ignore the key one and key two. Um, and I think that is all of the wiring on this side. So that kind of completes the wiring and what all you have to do. 
Um, like I say, uh, just I have um, different videos and stuff, and they're all pretty much the same. So if you have any questions, you just reach out to me. All right, let's move on to uh, demonstrating how the unit works. All right, here it is all powered up. This is the new, uh, new interface that you could see right here now. Um, I do have it hooked up to Wi-Fi, so um, we'll... Uh, uh, go ahead and kind of go through some things here now uh, it's going to be kind of similar to the same now you'll see all these are now in color a little nicer looking and i believe uh, that you'll be able to yes you'll be able to uh, change these so that's bluetooth music there so if you wanted to put something else there you could put it on uh, you, you could change these so say if you want your you're going to have a say a Oh, let's see here. If you want the radio in there, you could change that to the radio. Boom, there it's the radio. So um, the radio look while we're here, we'll go ahead and look at it. A uh, little bit different. It, they must be running a new program and everything now, which is really nice. Uh, it's got um, all the features and everything, the RDS, all that good stuff. So it uh, looks like uh, lots of... Uh, um, presets and everything. So we'll go ahead and get back out of that. We're going to close everything up here. We're going to clear all that out. Okay, now as, as you know, you could fully customize this. Um, I run Agama Car Launcher on mine, or you could leave this. Um, when, you, when you touch the main uh, navigation app there, um, it'll go full screen on you. Um, and you also have a on-screen volume, so you just press this uh, speaker up here, and now you have your volume control right there, quick access. Because I know it's very common that these uh, uh, units are, or excuse me, the Gran Turismos have the failing um, steering wheel control buttons. And so this allows it so you can control it under. I do have a fix for those steering wheel control buttons. Uh, I'll be coming out with a video on that pretty soon. Um, so when you pull down the top of the screen, you're going to get all your little options here. You're going to get your uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, um, the hotspot and stuff. That's going to that's going to be on when you run an uh, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This does has wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, and everything. Um, and you can see that everything's turning on in the background because what I'm saying it has does have voice control and everything. So uh, go ahead and pull this all down. Uh, that's got, going to be your dimming right there, your brightness, I guess you could call it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get out of the Z-Link. Z-Link is where your Apple CarPlay is and everything. So uh, this is going to be where you open up Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, let's see, I'm just kind of checking if you could change any of these. That's the weather. Of course, it's set to China right now. That's kind of nice. It's a, you, know, you get a kind of a quick, there we'll change it to Fahrenheit. There it goes to Fahrenheit, so we got that back to Fahrenheit there. Uh, then you just go in your settings and you, you set your location and everything uh, within the settings and everything. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so, so basically, this is the whole interface. Um, let's go ahead and look at um, the apps. So what you do, you just slide it to the right for your apps. It looks like it has maps preloaded, ways preloaded, of course, your radio. Um, Apple CarPlay Android Auto is right there, so it's Z-Link, so you could have it either or. Uh, Bluetooth phone, your weather, the DSP will go in that in a minute. Has uh, Netflix and Spotify, so you go to your DSP. Uh, this is going to be your uh, your EQ. Um, looks like it's all this one page. Looks like a, quite a bit here. You have a loud button you can turn on and off. Um, See, so you have the surround sound. So if you want to do a virtual center, uh, you could do that cinema mode, music mode, has all different uh, types of different ones. Um, let's see, you turn that on, okay. Then you could, 
Oh, uh, you hit the power button there, I see. And then it, uh, it does it, so. Okay, uh, base enhancements, so you could, um, you could turn up the um, gain, I guess you could call it, for the, for the subs, and you could set the hertz down. Um, I usually run mine about 50 hertz, or 63 hertz is where I run mine. Um, go ahead and shut it off. Like We'll let the next person figure that out or set it to their taste. Uh, sound fields, of course, that's going to be um, where you want the sound focused at. Uh, wave filter here again this is kind of a um, a pat high pass low pass filter and everything uh, for the front and rear uh, let's see so that's all new and everything uh, that's going to be really really nice so it's fully controllable this is a nice DSP um, system um, it, it's a DTS system is what they call it so um, I think this is a, a really nice, nice upgrade, and that's what you get with the Snapdragon and, and the newer uh, uh, processor and everything in it. You get a little nicer features. Looks like it has YouTube, Hulu preloaded. Of course, uh, music, you could plug in um, a thumb drive and um, load a library onto it and put it in here, and you control it through the music, or the or you could do the same thing with the movies. Um, you, could, you could do, it's got a, preloaded one there so um, you can of course run your Bluetooth music a dashboard here it does have a speedometer and an RPM this does read off your ECU so that'll all work and everything kind of cool um, let's see we'll go back uh, dashboard climate control you won't really use that that's uh, you know, you have your separate climate control, so you won't use that. Um, and then you have, see, car information, um, range and everything. And I think when you get it hooked up, it'll, and you set your metrics to uh, mile per hour and all that stuff. You can't do it with it out of the car, but you'll be able to switch it when, when it's in the car. So that's the vehicle settings. That's going to be your basically your trip and everything. Okay. Oh, here down down below here. Here's your um, speed limiter, temperature unit. This is where you change some of that stuff right here. Distant units. Um, I'm not sure why they have it set where you can't change it. Hopefully they'll. That is not the case. Um, here's your auto door locks. Your independent unlocking of the driver door. Of course you want that off. The trunk linky uh, trunk lid unlocking. You want that off. Um, but they, these are your factory settings that are in your factory deal. Here's your, um, uh, I'm not sure what these radio telephone navigation is. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Without having it hooked to the car, it's a little different. So I'm not sure exactly what all those do. So that, that, the, um, the car information is going to be your factory settings and everything. Uh, chrome, a cam, auxiliary, um, so when you you could do I think I think you hit cam and this will actually activate you can manually activate the rear cam without putting it into reverse aux that's where your front cam is going to be um, you're able to do that you're able to hook a front cam up or you could put say a TV tuner or anything you want voice search um, of course you have your system settings we'll hit that here in just a second your topple voice and topple service that's the voice control that this comes with. Um, there, there's some stuff that we don't use here in the States. Um, it looks like it has Disney Plus, and then you have your GPS where it'll pick up all the um, satellites. Right now it's picking up three satellites, and I don't even have an antenna hooked up to this, so it, it's pretty sensitive. Um, you don't want to touch that. That's all for the already set up. So let's go to system settings here. Um, you're going to have your uh, Wi-Fi connection, your hotspot, Bluetooth, uh, what's more? Oh, that's going to be your uh, some of your all your Android stuff. So, say you want to uh, go into anything with the Android settings, that's where that is. Uh, general settings, uh, day and night time, uh, that'll go right to the Android settings where you can uh, um, hit the time zone. It goes right here. I already have some of it set there. Very easy to navigate through. Um, 
add-on settings. Oh, okay, this is going to be like your just direct to your EQ sound gains. Um, so you're going to want to you're going to want to turn these down. Um, otherwise, it's going to be really loud when you first turn it on. So I, I always turn these down about to the middle, just so they're all equal. That way, um, one thing's not going to be louder than the other. So you can kind of turn all that down a little bit. Uh, other, turn that down a little bit there. Okay, uh, mic gain. This is where your mic gain controls are for your uh, for your mic in in the front here. You could also put an external mic on. Hand brake detection. Um, that's going to be if you're going to be driving and watching uh, YouTube or whatever. I think you have to have that off. It's either one or the other. You got a 50-50 chance there. Uh, system settings. Uh, this is going to be some of your your um, basic ones. I'm not sure if they'll see if the uh, let's see factory setup. I'm not sure if I can get in here or not. Um, they must have changed the password. I'm guessing, so I'll have to get that. Um, shouldn't really need to get in there uh, for anything. Uh, user settings. Uh, so the, right now there's no boot screen, so you you could add a an image or any something for the boot for the boot up. Uh, this does have fast boot and everything too. Uh, navigation, so you can choose maps or ways uh, to to come up when you hit the navigation button. Um, oh, there's lots of different things here. Touch assistant, multiple car. So there's several different things here. Something that everybody will have to play with once they get it. Um, but basically, it's it's pretty much overall the same setup, just kind of placed a little different spots and everything. Uh, but it looks very nice. I like the I like the new um, look on the front here. And like I say, you could 100% customize this. So. Um, I have these on my website. I sell them as package deal when you get the um, head unit and the climate control. Um, I generally have these on hands, but man, I sell these. I sell a lot of these, so I'm constantly ordering these, and I kind of have a rolling stock. So if I do not have it on hand, sometimes it takes about six or seven days for me to get it in. Uh, but I just want to do a quick video showing the new Gen 5 A car dash 9 inch uh, head unit for the Maserati Gran Turismo. This comes in matte black. And then it kind of has a gray little trim here. And it also comes in a piano black, which is solid piano black and also carbon fiber. So, and it's a perfect match to uh, the factory Maserati Gran Turismo carbon fiber. So, uh, with that said, I'll go ahead and end this video. If you had any questions, you can get a hold of me at the, my email below at caymanspider at gmail.com. Uh, if you like this product, there's a direct link below. And also, uh, you can just go on to www.elliotmotorsports.biz. All right, thanks so much.